what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i am finally in my makeup era again you guys i'm back in my makeup bag okay these are my normal brows that i normally do normal combo um i just changed up the concealer one time for the one time we are going to be using the huda beauty desert dusk palette that is the shade eden i'm going in with the morphe m441 brush it's just my normal brush that i use for my blending my transition shades all the above so this is just the first shade that i'm laying down now going into jackie Ines palette with anastasia beverly hills this is the shade ginger and i am using this as kind of to deepen up the transition we're going for a pumpkin spice latte pumpkin pie-esque type of eyeshadow i was just feeling it for the fall season okay so we're deepening up that crease now going in same palette we're using the shade edges and i'm using a more angled brush this is the m433 but any angled brush will do i'm basically just going into like i don't know the technical term for this you guys <laughs> this is just like the depths of the eyelid okay um to define my crease now with that same palette taking the shade blazing this is just like a hot orange it's deep enough for fall but not too neon for summer it's like the perfect shade of orange in my opinion i'm literally just taking this with my finger and packing it on no water no nothing no additional product i didn't use any eye primer this just sticks on good on its own honestly you don't even need any additional product for this Now taking the shade Oud, um, I am just going to be putting that in the outer view of my eye to kind of deepen it up a little bit more for a little bit more of that latte feel on the edge. My favorite thing to do after eyeshadow is take everything off of the bottom because I do my eyes and eyebrows before my base. So I just like to do that because any fallout that I have, I'll just wipe them off. Y'all, I got these a long time ago from Amazon. I literally do not know the link or where to get them. But those are them. Aren't they cute? They're giving Miami. They're giving so extra Miami by the Lily Lashes, okay? Um, I'm using the same concealer from before. It's the Born This Way, but it's like a different brand. Not the sculpted concealer that I used to use a long time ago. If you you know you know the girls that get it get it okay i used to use that concealer down but this is like ethereal light i use honey gram that's the one that's like more closer to my skin tone and i use a shade above that for highlighting and i didn't use any foundation or any anything no like skin tint honestly i was just doing my video for a intro to another video i didn't need to do my makeup for anything specific this day so i just didn't feel the need to use any foundation and to be honest i haven't used foundation in a really long time you guys um even though i am having breakouts i still just like to spot conceal i don't know foundation is feeling a little bit heavy and i haven't found a new one that i liked so if you guys have any recommendations I'll let a girl know <laughs> Thank you. 
with the ride or die product of life laura mercier translucent setting powder i am using this to set my entire face i didn't even use a face powder this day um i literally just used this if you apply it correctly there will not be any flashback it does depend on your skin tone i will say i did try to use the darker version of this a long time ago when i was buying makeup non-stop and it was like two shades too dark for my skin tone so i stuck with the translucent i did take flash photos on my birthday with this powder on and i did not get any flashback um if you want to ensure that, definitely go in with a face powder. But like I said, I was just doing this makeup look for the intro to another video, so I didn't feel the need to do all that. But if you're going out, definitely set with a face powder. Um, but if you are lighter than me, there is a good chance that you won't get any flashback with this powder. It's just that good, okay? We're going in with Miss Anastasia Beverly Hills Cappuccino Bronzer. I know it looks light, but I don't know if you can see this on camera. It's definitely dark on the skin, babe. I know it looks light in the pan, but it comes out dark. On the skin for a cute little bronze because y'all know after all these years I still can't contour so we are bronzing for now <laughs> using this tapered brush to apply the blush I really love this blush color you guys normally I would be more of a pinky toned girl but recently I really loved the peach blush on my skin so I'm just applying that <laughs> I'm going in with this highlighter by Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics I can't believe I'm saying this but I forgot to highlight my cheeks I must have been really excited to film this intro to this video because I have never like forgotten to highlight my cheeks I don't know what I was doing the cheeks are like the highlight point of the face so definitely don't forget the cheeks y'all I'm so sorry <laughs> the shade amber from the desert desk palette i'm just going to be using that as under eyeshadow i used to not do under eyeshadow at all because i felt like it was pointless but i really do think that it ties the top look together so i love doing under eyeshadow even if it's just one shade just to match everything up I've been using this mascara for years it's the l'oreal telescopic i know they have a couple of spinoffs so i'm really excited to try them but this is just the one that was in my makeup going in with the nyx lip pencil in the shade espresso and i'm just lining my lips <laughs> lip oil in the shade beyond basic it's a pretty pretty nude and I'm just using that as a lip color now to highlight the lips if you will Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color sand this is a liquid lipstick and I'm just putting that in the middle of my lips Lastly, just taking the Morphe setting spray, I'm just going to be setting my entire makeup look. And this is the 
completed pumpkin spice latte look. I hope you guys enjoyed me getting back in my makeup bag and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.